Hello and welcome. In this course, we explore something historically novel, the blending and democratized application of environmental psychology, positive psychology, educational theory, and computer gaming technology to the possibilities for meaningful community participation in sustainable development, and to the making of new and better worlds, both in fantasy and in reality. That's a fancy way of saying that we will look at how new technologies and new knowledge of how human beings and societies relate to, function in, and change their environments open up new possibilities for problem solving on both a personal level and on an epic scale. In this course, we explore how we can all contribute to the creation, realization, and implementation of our own ideas of utopia. And in this course, you get a chance to share your vision of the good place. In Greek, you means good, and topia means place. And you get to share that with your peers and instructors, and thanks to the advent of globalized internet-based social media technologies, the entire world. And that means that you have the possibility for having an impact and literally changing the world for the better, your way. Let me give you a little background. Since the beginning of recorded history, human beings have looked at their environment as it is, and then, use their powers of imagination to conceive of alternatives that please them more. This ability to invent worlds that do not yet exist seems to be unique to humans among all of the Earth's life forms, and the capacity to act on those fantasies and actually create such worlds almost certainly distinguishes us from all the other species with which we share the planet. The ancients fixed their fantasies in legends and myths, thinking out loud through poems and stories and songs and then thinking out louder through the magic of the written word. Books such as Plato's Republic, for example, were able to broadcast and carry the thoughts and ideas of small groups and individuals all around the world, enabling new forms of civilization and its governance to be tried out thousands of miles from their point of origin. In the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, books like Thomas More's Utopia, Francis Bacon's A New Atlantis, and Thomas Campanella's City of the Sun explicitly used the power of story to help people pre-visualize what a better world might look and feel like. Now, books were not the only ambassadors of alternative realities. Drawings and paintings, sculptures and models, theater plays, dance, opera and circuses, athletic games and board games, all of these media were put into service at one time or another to express visions and possibilities to creating different environments and different relationships between human beings and between humans and non-humans in those environments. In the 20th century, the harnessing of electromagnetic waves as carriers of such visions dramatically extended the reach and impact of human speculative fictions. Radio and films and television allowed people all over the planet to experience very realistic and dramatic ideas of possible worlds in a way that felt as emotionally impactful as dreams giving everybody who listened or watched the conviction that they too had the capacity to be epic dreamers, seers with conviction that they too could be visionaries. And as more and more people realized they could use these technologies to express their own ideas of what the world could be, the effect on our psychology has been profound, a democratization of oracular thinking, where you are the oracle. Now in the 21st century, technology has gone a step further actually a quantum leap further, with the introduction of immersive, interactive 3D virtual worlds and the availability of powerful but inexpensive game engines that allow for accurate and realistic simulations of physical processes that were unavailable to any but the wealthiest and educationally privileged groups in advanced economies in the past. Following the work of Dr. Jane McGonigal, we will explore the argument that gaming, with its deep application of the principles of positive psychology and environmental psychology to the construction of emotionally compelling fantasy worlds is already changing the way we perceive and conceive of our possibilities and alternatives. And we will investigate how gamification, the application of these principles to real-world outcomes in education, business, and development, can empower each of us to not just think out loud, but to think out loudest, giving us all a voice in the transformation of the world so as to create a desirable future. Welcome aboard.